For a sigma notation question, we usually just go find the first three terms, just to see if we're busy with an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. To find term one, you start off with whatever this number is. So that'll be three times a third to the power of k, which is three, and then plus three, and that'll give us one over 243. I wouldn't recommend using decimals at that step. Then for the next one, you just make k go up by one, so that's gonna be four plus three like that. So that's one over 729, and then the last one, and that's one over 2187. So we need to try to figure out if this is arithmetic or geometric. Now, for it to be arithmetic, the difference must stay constant. So you could test out, what is term two minus term one? Well, if you go work that out, it's negative two over 729. Right, now we go to t3 minus t2, and we're gonna see if this stays constant. So it's gonna be one over 2187 minus one over 729, and no, it's not constant. You can see that we get a different answer. So these two are not the same. So the difference is not staying the same. Okay, so then possibly it could be a geometric. For it to be a geometric, we'd have to look at t2 divided by t1, and let's see what we get there. A third. If you got a different answer to me, it's because you're typing it in on the calculator in a weird way. The Casio calculators can be a bit funny when you're f dividing fractions, so just look out for that. If we look at T3 divided by T2, it's also a third. Okay, so it's a geometric sequence because the ratio is staying constant. So now we know that the sigma notation symbol means the sum of. So we need to go get the sum of formula for a geometric pattern. And so we're looking for the sum of a certain number of terms. Now A is term one, so that's one over two. And then R, we said was a third. The number of terms is not seven. You've got to be careful. Remember how we've kept repeating in previous questions that the number of terms is the top number minus the bottom number plus one. So that's actually going to be five. So there are only five terms. What that means is you could theoretically go calculate T4 and T5, and then you could just plus all of these numbers together. It will give you the same answer. And so to two decimal places, this, sh this should give us six point, it's not a very nice answer, 6.147, oh no, that's, let's go to 6.15, times 10 to the negative 3.